wrist on frostbite. Oh. What a man's look like headlights. Ooh. This the boss life. What's going on YouTube? So today I'm back with another video and I'm doing my eyebrow routine. In this video, I just noticed that I was barely talking and I'm really bad at giving directions about doing my eyebrows. But that's really all I gotta say. I'm, I'm about to look horrible in the next 10 seconds because I was not wearing no makeup. But if you guys want to see how I did my eyebrows, just keep on watching. YouTube, you're not ready. Y'all not ready. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I know I look really bad. One, my face looks oily, but it's just because I finished washing and moisturizing and putting oil on my face. And my eyes are swollen because your girl wants to try her new contacts. I don't know what I bought for this look. And they burned the shit out of my eye. But it's because I didn't do it right, and I also had a cut on one of them because I ripped through my nail. But yeah, I probably don't care, but I just wanted to let y'all know why I look really rough right now. But this is Erica literally with no makeup on. So y'all really getting to know me. Y'all really, we really on a whole nother level now. Now that you haven't seen me with any makeup. Anyways though, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my eyebrow routine. Very easy steps, let's get on to the video. So when it comes to eyebrows, I like to like do this shape with a pomade, I think that's how you say it. This one is Revlon color stay, this is in brown. Don't really know how I feel about it. It does come with a brush, so that's good if you wanna buy one. But I feel like this has sparkles in it. I don't know if I did something by accident, put something in here, but for now I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula. Physicians Formula, I don't know what these are called, but they come in these little pods. It has blue, brown, and black, and I like to use this dark brown one to basically do my eyebrows. And I'm gonna be using two brushes. I like to use this cheap ass one from I don't even know where and this elf one because the spoolie is really good and I like to use it to shade it in so now I want to go back with this one because the other one dried out because I left it open while I was in school okay I'm gonna try to zoom up even though my skin is looking rough who is texting me you know it's my boy whatever Nope, it's a college reminder. Yay! Okay. So I take a little bit of that little um, pomade. If I'm being honest, I feel like eyebrow routines, hardest thing to explain. Like, you really just have to look. As you guys can tell, I have two different eyebrow shapes. Don't mind, I shaved it off by accident. This one is more, like, curvy, and this one is very, like, Instagram arch. So you'll see like how I try to make it look similar, but you know, eyebrows are, what is this, sisters not twins or um, cousins, some shit like that. So basically, if you guys can't see, I'm going very lightly in the center. Okay, obviously not that lightly, but. And then I go a little more hard in the end. I also drag out the tail just a little bit. And before I like to draw like on top, I like to do both eyebrows. So you guys can see how I'm gonna do this one too. Okay. Again, really light on the box. If your arch is super high, you can kind of drag it down like what I'm doing here. So now for drawing it, I like to overdraw it because the arch is not how I like it. So I start kind of from the center where the arch is. And I draw that line. It doesn't look visible at all. And then I connect it. Because I'm also missing some hair in the box, so I connect it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's starting to form. Okay. We're getting somewhere. By the way, I'm going to be cleaning this up with concealer, so that looks a little weird. I got it. Okay, so I kind of like it like this before I clean it up. I'm gonna see if turning this way helps. 
So now I'm going to try to fill in the other side. This one's not that hard to the arch. The only thing I don't like is that it's too square looking. Like I like how I like how my eyebrows look when they're curved, but this one comes out a little more like box form. So let's see if you guys can see. Again, starting from the middle. And then I draw middle. And because I have such a big sparse, we're gonna go back in with another eyebrow product that I'll show you guys in a minute. And we're gonna fill this in. Then after I kind of have like where, how thick I want it, then I go back in this box and fill it in. All right, so now that I have kind of like a rough draft of how I want my eyebrows to look, they look really dark. Um, I go back and forth, so I conceal my bottom, then finish drawing the top, then conceal again. I know I'm kind of extra, so I'm going to take these two concealers, Maybelline Fit Me, and this is the All May in Light. Um, and I like to take a lot, not a lot, but I like to take more of the lighter shade. And then a little bit of this Maybelline one, like probably like a little dot like that. Then taking my brush, I mix those colors, and I conceal my eyebrows. Honestly, if you don't conceal, you're missing out. Like, this makes your eyebrows look way cleaner. Even if you just do a little bit, it really does make a difference. I just want to say guys, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. Um, I know to some people that's not a lot, but I'm so happy that I reached that. And I'm happy that you guys enjoyed my videos. If you guys haven't followed my Instagram, which is always in the end of my video, just pause it and follow on my social media. Um, just follow it out because I will be having an upcoming giveaway and one of the entry rules will be to follow my Instagram, so I might as well do it now. If you guys comment any of my photos, um, or if you comment like Maxwell fam, or you just let me know that you're like from my channel, I'll spam you guys, um, just to show some love back. So now I'm taking this Wet n Wild um, Ultimate Eyebrow Kit, taking my e.l.f. brush, I just dip it a little bit um, in the wax. You don't really have to since you already use a pomade. And I mix these two shades, and I kind of redraw the top and fill any sparse areas, areas? Like, for example, this girl, she's not working. So we're going to fill her in. I don't know if you guys can see if that made a difference, but it really did. Now I'm going back in with my concealer brush, and I'm just going to clean up any um, areas that need to be cleaned up. I don't go hard like other people. Like I know some people that go really hard on the concealer. Also, why I didn't just use this by itself, because I don't like halo eyebrows like when they look like they're floating by themselves, because... A lot of people forget to blend. So uh, that's not gonna be me. So I know you guys can tell, I just clean up like the box here and the tail because I feel like that should be the sharpest part of your eyebrows if you really want your eyebrow game to be strong. I don't really focus like on the arch part because I clean that up with foundation anyways. But you guys can do like the whole outline of your eyebrow if you want. Just make sure you blend. Alright, now I'm going to conceal my other eyebrow off camera. Alright, so now that I concealed, I'm going to brush up my eyebrows. I always have an eyebrow gel, but I lost it in my grandma's house with like all my makeup brushes. We're not going to talk about that. And right here, I'm just combing them out. Um, especially, I really comb out. I'm just being like gentle on camera, but I really comb out this part because I hate when y'all girls be leaving the darkest box. Like, ugh. and I know on camera, some people might think mine is. And I, my eyebrows are bold, I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, if you see in person, like everyone says like my ombre, like, you know, light to dark here, is fleeky. Okay, and that's because I brush it out. And you want to go from where you drew the line. And it doesn't even matter if it comes out a little messy. Because you want a natural effect. 
and I just really go, really sparse this part out. Okay. Then I kind of like brush them going up but in the same direction so they don't look so thin. This one I'd be careful with. Alright guys, so this is how I do my eyebrows. When I put my makeup on and foundation, obviously um, everything looks better. I even added like a little bit of highlight on my arch. But I hope you guys like this and I'm going to finish the rest of my face and film this outro. Alright guys, so this is the end of the look. I hope y'all like it. My eyebrows did not come out that good like how I usually do them. But I try to show you the tips and tricks that I use. So I hope y'all like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Uh, yeah. Wrist on frostbite, where the bands look like headlights. Ooh. This the 